Whether you're a Pokemon fan or not, everyone pretty much knows who this adorable yellow furball is. We all know Pikachu can shoot out electricity from its butt and travels with Pokemon trainer Ash. But there's actually a lot that many people probably don't know about Pikachu. And that's probably why you clicked on this here video. We're so used to the name Pikachu at this point that you've probably never stopped to wonder what it actually means. It's not just a cute little random name that Game Freak decided to give to this wonderful little creature, there's actually some logic behind it. As you may or may not know, Pikachu is classed as a mouse species Pokemon, and with this classification it means that it technically falls into the same category as Rattatat, Rattacat, Sandshrew and Sandslash. Now that you know that, things start to slowly make sense because in Japanese the word Chu is actually used to describe a mouse. On top of that, the word Pika is a Japanese word that's used to describe the noise of electricity crackling. So, when you combine both Pika and Chu together, you get the name Pikachu, which then literally translates to electricity crackling mouse. So, yes, while the name Pikachu is absolutely adorable, it actually has a very literal meaning as it perfectly describes the Pokemon in Japanese. After just learning what Pikachu's name literally means, I'm going to completely tear down that wall because it turns out that Pikachu wasn't even the first name it was given when this adorable little critter first made its debut. Turns out the electric furball was first introduced as John Luke Pikachu in the manga, but literally after the first issue the name was then pretty quickly ditched. Now you're probably asking why in the world did they even give it that name in the first place? Well, it was thought that the name John Luke could appease fans that thought that Pikachu was a bit too Japanese and needed to be a little more French for some bizarre reason. As you might have gathered, that didn't quite resonate with audiences, so John Luke was binned and Pikachu became a worldwide phenomenon. In fact, Pikachu was loved so much that the cute little yellow mouse became the main mascot for the franchise instead of Clefairy, which executives originally chose to be the lead marketing character for Pokemon. Turns out fans were more drawn in by Pikachu after the animated series launched and the big boys up top reckon it could be due to its yellow fur that children in the west instinctively connected with Winnie the Pooh, which was another popular children's TV mascot. Now some fans have wondered what gender Pikachu is, and it turns out that there's one defining factor in a Pikachu which differentiates which one is male and which one is female. In Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, female Pikachus were introduced by having an indent at the end of its tail, giving it a cheeky little heart-shaped appearance. Before that, the only way that gender was characterised in the Pokemon games was with the male and female signs on the screen next to the Pokemon's name. After the female Pikachus were introduced in Diamond and Pearl, it soon made its way into the anime series, giving fans the answer that they've been after for so many years. Although there are still some people out there that are still not quite sold that Ash's Pikachu is male. Doesn't stop him from being adorable though. Time Magazine's Person of the Year is a prestigious thing that everyone around the world always hears about. In 2008, Barack Obama was named Person of the Year, and the Silence Breakers from the Me Too movement were named People of the Year in 2017. Well, it turns out in 1999, Pikachu was very nearly named as the best person of the year in Time Magazine for being one of the most popular animated characters from Japan since Hello Kitty. Unfortunately, Pikachu ended up taking the number two spot with Ricky Martin taking the top spot for his hit song Living La Vida Loca, which, to be fair, is quite a banger, so it's hard to argue against that. Nonetheless, Just Coming In Second really highlights just how much of an impact Pikachu had on Western audiences, so I guess all that can be said here is fair play. Even Pikachu has a favourite condiment, and if you're an avid fan of the animated series, it's pretty likely that you've clocked onto the fact that the little bugger has a strange obsession with ketchup. Yeah, ketchup. Why Pikachu is so obsessed with ketchup is actually a little up in the air. Perhaps it could be that it reminds him of his trainer Ash Ketchum, or it could be that he just has a particular fondness of the colour red, as Pikachu is also seen only eating red foods such as apples and red berries. But I mean to be honest, who really cares? The only thing to take away here is that Pikachu is a ketchup fiend. Last but not least, and probably one of the biggest that will blow your minds, is that Pikachu actually exists in the real world. Well, kind of. A few cheeky scientists over in Japan discovered a new protein in 2008 within the human body which transmits electrical impulses from the eyes to the brain, and it turns out these scientists were actually huge fans of Pokemon, so they decided to name the protein 
Pikachu in, after the popular electric Pokemon, Pikachu. Pikachu in takes in the light taken in by the eyes and converts it into electrical energy that the brain can then interpret as images. What actually makes this discovery even better is that these scientists discovered this new protein in a mouse. <laughs> So now you can say that you actually really know Pikachu, more so than many of the Pokemon fans out there. Did you really need to know that Pikachu used to be called John Luke or that his favourite condiment is ketchup? No, not really. But you now know it and so begins your new life in being the life of the party when you whack out these facts. Maybe. Potentially. Probably not.